I'm really glad to be back, and I'm sorry I'm really late on this video, but I just have not been in the mood to vlog lately. I have a few updates for those of you right here on YouTube that follow my channel, and I think you might find it interesting. So, at this moment, I'm up having breakfast, and I am uh, eating some turkey bacon and some eggs, and of course, you hear me uh, playing that, or you hear that song and that's playing. I just uh, thought it was really cutesy. Um, I'm going to leave uh, a description below in case you want to add that to your own book as well, which is something I've never done before. So, um, the reason why I haven't been putting up any new content in the last couple days is because, uh, A, I haven't really been into editing, and B, I've just been super busy at C. We have uh, a volcano erupting in Hawaii, and the reason why I'm really, really tuning into that right now is because I have been to Hawaii twice in my lifetime, and that was always my childhood dream to go. And granted, I want to get back as soon as I can, but as you guys know, there's a volcano at Mauna Kilauea, which is one of the most active in the world, and uh, Mauna the Mauna Kilauea is on the top of, uh, did I say Kea or Mauna Kilauea? Mauna Kea has the Space Observatory, and Mauna Kilauea is the most active volcano in the world, and one of the most. And it's not only been spewing out a bunch of ash and uh, dangerous explosions, but it's also causing the, uh, the ground underneath it to open up and cause fissures and cause uh, all these lava fountains and cause all these lava rivers and all these homes to be destroyed and just wreak havoc everywhere. So I've been really keeping an eye on that, wondering when is this going to stop? And I'm just really sad about this, but hey, it's a volcanic island, not much you can do. My thing is, uh, yes, it's sad, but what's going on is uh, Kilauea, or not Kilauea, the, the big island of Hawaii appears to still be growing. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's going out or going up. But because of these fissures opening up, which I heard that they're about 21 now, uh, they're creating hills and they're creating eggs. So I just want to see, or I want to know what, what it's going to do. And then, of course, there's a lot of this lava going into the ocean and it's causing a laze, which is like a glass and like this hydrochloric acid that is really bad for your eyes and really bad to breathe in. And they're closing off the roads because of, of the lava entering those portions of the ocean. Anyway, so those, those are some of my reasons. Anyway, I had a few updates for you guys. So first and foremost, um, I was able to raise enough money to go to Chicago, Illinois um, next month on the 22nd. Of course, I've seen Dr. Tucker Grandin in, on a couple of occasions. This is exciting now. I mean, I'm losing count how many times I'm going to hear her speak. Connecting with her and her publicist, but I, uh, I'm going there to blog about what she talks about, and I'm also going to uh, see if I can uh, get a better camera and I can shoot some footage. I don't think I can uh, get any interviews with Tim Brandon at this time because she's really booked up, but at some point I really would like to uh, shoot a vlog of us together, and I really would like to uh, talk to her one-on-one, -on -one, which of course would be my dream. But, uh, that's not all I'm doing in Chicago. I ended up getting a really, really a cheap plane ticket on the, the St. Louis airline that I keep hearing about. It's United Airlines. I keep hearing about their bad customer service, and I keep hearing the horror stories in the news, like with the, that dog that got put in the overhead bin because that flight attendant didn't care. And, but that's the good news. That, that, or that's the bad news. The good news is, I'll get to spend some time in Chicago for a few extra days there. Um, there I guess they have a city pass where you can go and uh, view all of their attractions. Like, I hear they have some uh, magnificent museums. They have a museum of natural history. They have uh, a planetarium. And I guess they're right across the street or right next door to each other. So I'm going to go and try to do that. And then... Um, I know that they have some observatories that are high up. One of them is on the Harris Tower or the Willis Tower. That used to be the Sears Tower. Uh, 
they're supposed to have some sort of a uh, lookout where you step out onto a glass structure and you look out and you can see all of Chicago. And then they have another one. They have they call it a they call it the Observatory 360. And I guess, or from what I've seen in videos, uh, you uh, you go up, you hold on to some handles, and they have a special machine that pushes these windows forward like three or four times, and you just sort of look out. You sort of look out uh, the window at uh, the very at a very wide angle, which I thought was uh, interesting. It looks nerve-wracking, but I'm sure I'll be able to do it. So. And then, of course, they have a free zoo there that's supposed to be magnificent. It's called the Lincoln Park Zoo, and they have the Lincoln Park Observatory. And then, I guess, they have something called the Garfield Observatory, which is supposed to be state-of-the-art, too. So, I'll get to do that. But the only thing I've learned about Chicago is that, unlike Atlanta, you can get point get anywhere on MARTA, like from the Dorville Station to downtown Atlanta within 25 minutes. But from O'Hare Airport, it takes you a good hour to get downtown Chicago. And it's going to take me a good hour to get to uh, Temple Grandin's presentation as well. So, uh, so that, that's the news. And then the second thing I wanted to mention is we had our autism conference come up and I promoted my, uh, my conference. and. I mean, I, and I, not my conference, but I promoted my uh, my vlogs by putting little business cards into each little flare bag. And so far, I've had one person make an observation and dis uh, discover that she really liked. I mean, we met at the conference too, and she wanted to make commentary on one of my videos, which was about the uh, young boy who was uh, bullied by his teachers in that school. Uh, you may want to check that one out. So. Uh, there's that, but getting back to the Chicago thing, uh, actually, I'll, I'll put that inside. One more thing. <laughs> um, back to this conference, uh, we had a hashtag, which is uh, ACEGA 2018, and the good news about that was that uh, our topic, our our hashtag, was the number one trending topic in Atlanta last week, Wednesday on the 16th, which was really cool. So uh, that means that more people are learning more about the Center for Leadership and Disability and learning about uh, the Autism Plan for Georgia, which by the way, I will leave in the description below. Now, back to Chicago. I still have a GoFundMe account. I mean, I've raised a pretty good chunk of money, not all of it, but I am going to continue to promote that. If you would like to make a generous donation, I'm going to leave the link below, just right down here with the, the information on uh, Carpeen. So anyway, I'm out of time today. If you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to share this on uh, social media, Facebook. Uh, you can find me under there. You can find me on uh, Twitter, and then you can find me on Instagram as well. Also be sure to check out my written materials on WordPress.com. That's Hello World with Maya Sundermeyer. Hello World 240.wordpress.com. That's Hello World 240.wordpress.com. Thanks. Bye.